I cannot tell you how many times I have been on a professional shoot and I've run out of battery in my camera or my drone or needed to plug in a light, but I was nowhere near a power outlet. Well, that's where portable power banks come in handy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Ampace Andes 300. The Andes 300 is a portable power station with a 300 watt output capacity. It has six total ports, two of which are AC power. There are two USB-A ports, one USB-C port, and one car outlet. It can be charged up in only one hour according to the spec sheet. It also has a smart app to control it, but who is this for? and how much can you get out of this little thing? Well, let's put it to the test and let's see. Currently we have 99.6% capacity and about 99 hours. So let's say I'm on a shoot and my drone batteries are completely dead and I need to charge them up to get a few extra shots and my Sony batteries are dead as well. It says I have 97% left and about 3.2 hours left until this thing is dead. That can at least charge up your drone batteries a couple of times and save yourself with your camera batteries. You probably can get a few different charges throughout the day just on that three hours alone. So this could definitely be a huge lifesaver on a shoot. Now, let's say you're on the shoot, you're charging up your drone batteries and you're charging up your camera batteries, but you need to light up a subject for, let's say a couple hours. So this is a 60 watt light. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what we can get out of it. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. Dude, that's not bad at all. All right, the light is set on 10%, so we're getting 2.7 hours total with drone batteries, camera batteries, and a 60 watt light set on 10%. I'm gonna turn it up to 100% and we'll see how much it changes. All right, now the light is on 100%. It's saying 1.6 hours. Honestly, that's pretty good. If you're in a pinch and your shoot is almost over, but you need a light for an hour, you need to charge your drone batteries and you need to charge your camera batteries. Yes, you're not gonna get 10 hours on this thing because it's super small, but this could be a lifesaver in a pinch. Granted, I'm only running a 60 watt light. If I was running a 200 watt light or more, I feel like I would get a lot less hours left on the power bank. But if you do the math and you need to charge your batteries a couple times and maybe run an interview shot for an hour and a half this could definitely be a lifesaver if you unplugged the drone batteries and the camera batteries using a 60 watt light at 92 percent you can get about 2.2 hours running at full blast at 60 watts so just the drone batteries plugged in it's now saying 5.2 hours at 91 percent so that's pretty that's pretty good it also has an app you can use to see how much power you have left you can also use it to turn on different portions of the power station itself and to turn it off and on entirely so it's super useful if maybe you're not near it and you want to check and see how much battery life you have left i think the app is super useful other useful situations for this would be as a backup battery for your Wi-Fi router or even a backup battery for your computer. You can also run this as a UPS. If you run out of power, you're editing a project, this could save your project and save you if you run out of power. And it's really good for emergencies if you need that extra bit of power. Let's say you're in a situation where you have total loss of power in your home, you need to charge your devices. This could make the difference of a lot of things that could go wrong if you have this at least hanging around your house or something like this. And with its quick one hour charging time, it makes it super easy to charge it up and have ready to go for any situation that you're gonna be using it for. Given its size, it's super portable. It also has a handle right here at the top. So I'm gonna be carrying this on pretty much every single production or shoot that I go on. Probably gonna store it in my truck and just have it for those emergency situations. They do have larger options like a 600 watt or a 1500 watt, which would be great and probably better used for bigger productions or even situations like RVs or camper vans due to its larger amount of power that it can output. But again, for something of this size, really just for emergency situations. So who is this for? I think it's perfect for freelance videographers as that backup on shoots or for families needing to charge devices and have for those emergency situations if you have total loss of power and you need to charge your devices and have that extra power laying around. With its portability, Bluetooth app control, and quick charge time, it's honestly a really good addition to your kit if you're looking to get an extra power source. While it is a niche buy at the size of only 300 watts, it's currently priced at 249 US dollars. So if you're looking for something a lot bigger, obviously you're gonna have to spend a lot more money, but for this, 
sort of power to price ratio, this could be great for you in your specific situation. I'm also going to link other options from Ampace and just other options out there in general at different wattages and different power options. So you can find the best one that suits you in your specific situation. As far as the Ampace Andes 300 specifically, I'm actually super excited that Ampace sent this over to me because I'm probably never going to leave the house without it, at least whenever I go on a video production shoot. Probably won't take this with me to the grocery store, but I'll probably always be on shoots with this just to have that backup power and save myself from some sticky situations. Thank you Ampace for sending this over and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.